hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and in this video guys we're going to learn how to use ternary operators in c so basically guys the ternary operator is used to execute code based on the result of a binary condition so when we say ternary operators it is used to execute um, code based on binary condition okay and it takes in a binary condition as input and uh, which makes it similar to an if else control flow block so so for example guys from our uh, previous tutorial we have discussed how to use if else statement okay so we have this kind of structure so for example we want to use this structure or code to get the maximum of two values or two um, variables so if you want to like return the max value all you have to do is compare the two uh, variables a and b so, so for example if a is greater than b then of course a or max will be assigned to a otherwise the max number will be the value of variable b okay so the ternary operator guys instead of using if else like this this is too long for a simple you know uh, checking of value condition so the binary or ternary operator uh, uses only single line or we can use the ternary operators in a single line and uh, it returns a value so behaving uh, similar to a function okay so let's try to see the syntax of the ternary operators in C so basically the syntax is like this um, result and then binary condition and then you have to add the question mark and then you have like the value when the binary condition is true otherwise the value of uh, you know value to be returned if the binary condition is false so we have to Take note guys that the ternary cannot be used to execute code so it must be either uh, return in the function or set equal to a variable so you cannot use this like something like this so you cannot leave your ternary operator like this so it should be equal to or be set equal to a variable okay something like this or you can use it as a return in a particular function okay so let's try to implement a ternary operator so for example you want to check the max value so the long version is this if a is greater than b then assign the value of a to the max and then otherwise assign the value of b to the max variable so as I've said, we can, you know, make this a little shorter by using the ternary operators. So in order for us to do that, we just need to, um, so for example, get the variable max and then the binary condition is a is a greater than b. Okay, so we can add the question mark. There you go question mark and then the value to be returned if the binary condition is true so of course if a is greater than b then the max value is a right otherwise the value is b or the return or the max value is the value of variable b as i've said guys um, this is the um, explanation of conditional or ternary operators in C. So we have this variable 
and then we have the expression or the condition and then you have to add the question mark and then the value if true so it will return the resultant value into the variable and it will assign this value to this variable otherwise uh, if the expression is false then the resultant value of uh, you know the false then it will be returned as the value of the variable that we have added okay so we can check this right now we can remove this this is uh, the long version and we can try to print this display the result the max value is and then format specifier which is we're using int so percent b and then of course the max variable okay uh, let's just remove this so clean and build or build and run our application so let's try this uh, oh um, we don't have like the value for a and b so let's try to assign values to this uh, variable so for example a equals 15 and b equals 16 okay so clean and build our application and um, we'll try to uh, get the output so the max value is 16 okay so we have here uh, the b variable 16 so that's the uh, value of max variable that is uh, being assigned because this particular uh, condition returns false so that's why the value of b variable is being assigned to the max variable so we can also try this uh, with the other um, you know if the a is greater than b so like uh, 20 so obviously a is greater than b so let's try this exit this for now and then build and run our application so let's try this so there you go the max value is 20 so this condition um, returns true because a which is the value is 20 and that's greater than b because b is the value is 16 so it returns the value of a so like this so it ignores the second part which is the b because it returns true and then of course after uh, after evaluation the value of a is being assigned to the max variable that we have here so it printed out that the max value is percent d and then which is 20 so let's try uh, let's try this one more time just so you can see the output so the max value is 20 okay so this is quite useful if you only want to um, check a certain value so like if you're planning to use if else then you might want to uh, use the ternary operators which is like this so it will just save you um, time it will save you of code space and i think it's clear rather than using the f and else statement so this is pretty straightforward when it comes to checking the value and assigning the value to the max variable okay so you just have to remember that it cannot be used to execute code you just have to set this equal to a variable or you can use this as a return value of a function okay so i hope that's clear and i think that's all there is to it for this tutorial guys and if you have questions please let us know in the comment section below 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.